Uh, hi everyone, my name is Marina Stesiuk. I'm a Ayurvedic practitioner and today we are going to speak about uh, Ayurvedic wisdom for, for beauty. Uh, we will speak about uh, face care tips, uh, body care tips and uh, hair care. But before we dive into recipes, uh, I want to speak about what actually beauty is. Ayurveda feels uh, and believes that beauty starts uh, not only from uh, what we can see. Uh, beauty starts from within, uh, from love and compassion, from our smile, from sparkling eyes, pleasure voice, uh, from happy and optimistic nature, and uh, from femininity. How does it can happen? Because when we feel love inside of us, uh, we look uh, more calm, more passionate, uh, more beautiful. And uh, of course, uh, glowing skin, shiny hair, good complexion, healthy nails, and pretty face. So these all are connected and uh, this all uh, makes uh, us beautiful. The, the next part uh, is um, we have a uh, five sense organs and uh, these five or sense organs um, can uh, uh, like we feel something um, from our touch. So when uh, someone touch our skin, uh, they feel it can be rough, cold, it can be silky and smooth. Uh, it comes from our vision. When someone see us, uh, uh, they will feel like uh, she's pretty, she's attractive, uh, she has a pretty face, uh, beautiful hair, etc. And uh, the next one is about sound. Uh, when a woman uh, feels, uh, looks beautiful, uh, she, her face is uh, shiny, but when she starts to talk and uh, she's uh, uh, very aggressive, um, her voice uh, doesn't uh, sound good, it will be, the other will feel that it's not beautiful. The next one is the our smell. When someone just go behind and feel the smell, uh, they feel like this woman is really beautiful. And uh, the last one is taste. It's not about uh, someone will uh, taste us. <laughs> it's about uh, how we are cooking. And uh, if a woman uh, can make a nice uh, and delicious food, uh, her husband will believe she's the most beautiful woman at all. If you have any questions this time, do you have questions? So, uh, no, okay. There is a five sense organs uh, and uh, five parts which make us beautiful. Vision, beauty for the eyes, sound, pleasant voice, smell, magnetic smell, torch, silky torch, and taste, delicious food. And now we are going to speak about uh, face care. So, uh, face care comes uh, from everyday care and uh, weekly care and all of uh, them are important we should to uh, clean uh, our face regularly uh, every day uh, we should to uh, tone in our face and uh, put moisturizing and uh, we should to uh, deep clean our face by seven important steps cleansing Massage, steam, scrub, mask, toning, and then moisturizing. If you can see, uh, these three everyday care comes from weekly care. And we will uh, speak about uh, step by step how to clean our face uh, to, 
to develop really beauty and uh, soft uh, face. Okay. So the third step is uh, face care, cleansing. I do not use uh, chemical uh, cleansing at all. I use uh, only natural uh, herbal powder to clean my face uh, and uh, it's uh, it's really important uh, to avoid chemicals uh, and uh, to uh, try to clean deeply our skin because uh, mm -hmm. all the day we will feel um, wind blow to our skin and it can be little uh, dirty on it uh, it can be uh, like our sweat can be outside so we should to uh, take it out so why cleansing is important uh, it will clean dirt sweat toxins impurities from skin and uh, as i already mentioned uh, the best way is to use uh, herbal powder it's very simple and uh, you can find it uh, uh, at the Indian store, or you can uh, find this uh, online. On, I'm, I'm sure even uh, some grocery store care all of this. So the first recipe is uh, uh, green gram powder. You can use just plain green gram powder. Uh, what is it? Uh, it is uh, a flour made from uh, man, man beans. But I do not suggest to do it at home because uh, uh, when we purchase a flour, it will be very, very small particles. But uh, you're not able to do it at home. So just purchase green gram powder and um, put little water. You can put uh, uh, different herbal powders in it to make a blend and then uh, to apply over your skin with uh, massage uh, motions, uh, uh, circle motions and uh, on your uh, forehead uh, it's like straight motions like this. Uh, for dry skin uh, add little milk to it uh, or you can uh, put uh, water if you have a normal skin or oily skin. And uh, here is a few suggestions uh, what you can use uh, for for your skin uh, cleansing. Uh, fenugreek uh, fit for all skin types, uh, deep cleansing, uh, good for blackheads, uh, pimples, wrinkles. Manjishta is a special Ayurvedic herb uh, which is good for all types of skin. Uh, I put it in uh, each uh, face pack uh, for me and uh, uh, for my clients. Uh, it's good for inflammation, discoloration, and generally it will uh, make your skin uh, glowing, shiny, and very clean. Uh, the next one is red sandalwood. The same about it. I will put it in each face pack. Uh, even in uh, any condition, it will be good for each type of skin. Uh, but the better is sensitive skin, uh, it, it is very cooling, uh, uh, good for pimples, boils, greasy skin. Uh, turmeric is the king for skin. So this one is really important, but um, if your skin is really pale and you put turmeric uh, on it, uh, you will get a yellow skin. So to prevent this one, put just a pinch of it and uh, uh, massage uh, leave uh, for maybe one two minutes no more because if you leave it for 10 minutes you will be yellowish but uh, um, anyway you can clean it uh, if, if if it's happened just put uh, little uh, uh, coconut oil or any type of oil and uh, clean skin with uh, uh, wipes or something like this it will go very easily uh, the next one is neem. Neem is uh, only for oily skin, not for ever, not for dry skin at all. So only oily skin, sensitive skin. Uh, it uh, it goes really deep and it cleans really well, but again, not to dry skin. Uh, Amalaki is uh, good for aging skin. It's perfect for aging skin. So uh, for someone is above. Uh, 
35, we can add little amalaki in it. Uh, fenugreek, manjishta, red sandal wood, uh, turmeric, neem, amalaki, all of this you can buy from uh, online or from Indian store. Uh, turmeric, I believe, uh, is everywhere and uh, fenugreek uh, should be in grocery store uh, with the spices. But Indian store is much cheaper. Okay, uh, do you have any questions this time? Questions? I will remind the right button is for writing your for chat with me and writing your question. Okay. The next part is massage. Uh, if you remember about uh, everyday uh, tips for skin, uh, can we have a separate list? Uh, Actually, you can. Uh, I can uh, go back, and you can print your skin. Uh, oh, sorry, print your screen. Uh, and uh, by the end of presentation, you can just upload all presentation and have everything. Does it sound good? I can send presentation to you when we. When we end, okay. Um, so uh, the face massage is the step uh, for our deep cleansing. So we should do it once a week, uh, not every day. Uh, but um, um, anyway, uh, so the action is uh, improve circulation, relieve muscle tension, provide deep relaxation, prevent wrinkles. Uh, actually. Uh, when we speak about uh, oil massage, uh, most of us feels uh, if I have oily skin, uh, how uh, I'm sorry, uh, how often uh, do we have to clean and moisturize? Okay, uh, we should to clean our face daily, then toning daily and moisturize daily. The our other step is for weekly. Once a day, yes. But uh, if you feel before bed, uh, you feel your face is greasy, it can happen if you have oily skin, you can use this. You can use it as often as you use your regular face cleansing. Okay, so uh, oily massage. Uh, if we have oily skin, most of you feel that yeah, I have oily skin, how to uh makeup okay uh <laughs> we, we will come to the tweet later uh, i will i will answer later okay okay uh so even oily skin need a massage uh, need uh, to improve circulation and need to moisturize why because uh, uh, when we use this harmful and very strong cleansing for our skin if it's oily we uh like uh, degrade this and our skin start to develop more oil to try to protect so uh, massage important for each type of skin and um, my suggestion is to use the uh, special ayurvedic oils uh, or uh, to use the uh, uh, carrier oils like uh, jojoba or olive oil sesame oil coconut oil uh, key clarified butter. Uh, if you use the carrier oil, you can add little essential oil to it to improve uh, this action. Uh, recipe: um, Aladi oil is uh, good for each type of skin, but the best is uh, for when you have um, skin problems like eczema like uh, pimples, uh, acne, a lot of oil is the best. Uh, jojoba oil, almond oil, uh, good for all types of skin. Uh, sesame, sesame oil is good for dry skin. Uh, wheat germ oil, do not use it, uh, mix it with sesame oil or with coconut oil. Uh, 
do not use it for you no need so much of uh, it. Uh, and the next one is uh, jojoba oil, sunflower oil is for oily skin. Uh, you can add a little bit of mustard oil, but it's uh, a little of heating, so just a little bit for oily skin. And uh, special uh, uh, essential oils, uh, when you use the Ayurvedic oils like Eladi oils, you no need to put essential oils, everything already in it. But if you use the pure carrier oils, the better to put little uh, essential oils. Uh, eucalyptus, uh, rosemary, orange is will be good for oily skin to improve cir circulation, uh, to um, little heat of it. But uh, uh, do not use it before you go to the sun, especially orange oil. Do not apply orange oil even with carrier oil before sunburn. Okay. Um, eucalyptus, rosemary, almost the same, but it's more safe than orange oil. So um, summertime better do not use too much of orange oil. Uh, geranium, lavender, rose, uh, actually good for all skin types. Uh, uh, especially rose. Uh, rose is like uh, queen of uh, oils to our face beauty. So uh, you can put it uh, for any type of skin, but it's a little bit of expensive because if you are, if you understand uh, the orange oil is made from uh, peel, from uh, orange peel, and. Uh, uh, Rose is made from petals, rose petals, and uh, you can just squeeze orange, and this uh, um, squeeze orange, and these oils come out. So it's pretty easy. But uh, can you squeeze the rose to get essential oil? You have to. You should to have a lot of rose petals to have it. That's why it's, it's expensive. But. For face massage, you no need too much. You can mix uh, carrier oils with uh, essential oils, put it in bottle and use when you need it. Okay, is there any question here? Question for this step? No question, okay. Um, Ayurvedic makeup, uh, yes, it is... Um, um, it's called, um, there is a, it's like a pencil for our uh, eyes. We use it, uh, it's made from uh, ash and it's really good for our eye care. Even, um, even uh, if we have a problem with the eyes, I really suggest to use this one. Uh, I am... I can say the name now. Um, it looks like uh, eye pencil. And uh, it's available online and uh, Indian store. You can just Google it. Eye pencil, Ayurvedic eye pencil, uh, Indian eye pencil. Um, it's only for eyes, not for lips. <laughs> uh, if you have a healthy skin, you probably no need to put uh, too much of makeup. Okay, the next one. Uh, next one is team. So first step was cleansing. Next one, massage with uh, oils. And next one is steam. You can put a um, few, um, like mix of different herbs, uh, uh, not powders, just uh, for, for like small particles, even big particles, it's fine. Boil it, and uh, when it starts boil, uh, you take it, cover yourself uh, with towel, and uh, just breathe for five, eight minutes no more. So why we need this? It's really good to open our pores, and uh, it prepare our face to the next step. Uh, and uh, it relieves the uh, muscle tension. It's uh, uh, it's good for wrinkles because it makes 
it's uh, our skin nice and smooth uh, and it's uh, really uh, like relaxative. Uh, also, it improves circulation. So, what we can use? Um, actually, there is um, I have my favorite brand uh, to purchase oil or herbs, and it will be Mountain Rose and uh, Benian Botanicals. Uh, Mountain Rose herbs actually have uh, um, they called it uh, steam flowers, steam herbs. You can just take it. Uh, they have uh, calendula in it. Uh, they have uh, um, comfort leaves in it. Uh, I believe they have chamomile too. So um, the simple recipe: you can uh, just go to the Russian uh, pharmacy, uh, and uh, you can use uh, licorice, uh, uh, rose petals, uh, sandal. Um, but again, not powder. Uh, it's like uh, particles from sandalwood. Uh, fennel, uh, chamomile. Uh, it's good for all type of skin. And you can also can add comfrey leaf. Uh, it's also good for all type of skin. The next one is lavender, lavender, licorice, rose, marshmallow. It's uh, good for dry skin because it's really moisturizing. And uh, bay leaves, eucalyptus, rosemary, nettle, flower sage is good for oily skin. It's really good to improve cir circulation and uh, to open pores. So uh, chamomile is antiseptic, antibacterial. You can also add it to all type of skin. Uh, hibiscus, uh, the same about, it's good for all type of skin. And comfort leaves uh, is um, an anti-inflammatory tonic, uh, heal wounds, sores, boil. So uh, all these three you can use for all types of skin. Any questions here? So we clean, massage, then steam, and then our face is ready for next step, for scrub. When our pores already open, we should to scrub our face to uh, take particles from this, like dirty, etc. Uh, so uh, what we use the best is the trifala powder. Uh, trifala is made of uh, three fruits: amalaki, bipitaki, and uh, haritaki. Um, you can purchase it uh, at any Indian store and uh, online. But if you are out of it, you can use just uh, uh, again green gram powder, but uh, uh, add little honey to it uh, uh, with little water. It will be good. But trifla powder is the best because it can uh, it, it will help to clean your face. Um, almond powder is uh, the best for dry skin because uh, dry skin do not like to be uh, too much um, like disturbed. So we should be very gentle with dry skin. Uh, the same is about aging skin. Uh, barley flour honey is good for oily skin. Uh, you uh, add water uh, just to make it uh, not a uh, very thick paste, um, more on liquid side, and uh, you take it and massage with uh, circle motion to improve circulation and uh, clean uh, your skin very deep. Okay, um, yes, and remember your face uh, isn't a greasy teapot. Do not try to rub it very very high very strong be very gentle to your face okay uh so uh next step is uh, do, do you have any question here i think we all should be clear uh the next step is mess uh what uh, um, what is the um, action of mask? Uh, 
uh, there can be two of action. First one is uh, for deep cleansing, and the next one is for nourish. Uh, I suggest to use the deep cleansing mask uh, when you do your seven step uh, weekly cleansing. Okay, and uh, uh, one more once a week. Uh, use the i will let me put this one one second and uh, uh, once a week uh, without all this uh, seven step uh, just after cleansing your skin with uh, uh, with the green gram flower i use this one nourish type of method so uh this recipe is for uh, deep cleansing mask the best uh, source uh, is the uh, clay. Uh, we can add a uh, little uh, of uh, water in it uh, and it will be enough to, to have a good cleansing. Uh, but you can also add little turmeric and a uh, little sandalwood powder and little orange peel. Make it uh, a nice and uh, thick paste. Apply on your skin and left uh, about 50 20 minutes. Uh, and again, uh, modification for each type of skin. Honey is good for oily skin, rose hip, uh, and uh, uh, not marathon, it's uh, ergon oil. Ergon oil is for aging skin. Uh, Yes, and uh, no orange peel for sensitive skin and no orange peel before samba. Okay, so the, this recipe is for cleansing, deep cleansing as, as part of our seven step here. Okay, uh, is there any question here? We will go next. Uh, after we, uh, okay, no, nourishment mask. This type of mask we will do, uh, no question, okay. Uh, this type of mask we can do once a week, uh, not as a part uh, of our seven step. Um, but if you have a really dry skin or aging skin, uh, cleansing with clay may be not good to you for every week. Maybe it better will be to use uh, nourish ma mask uh, um, at least a uh, few times uh, instead of uh, clay. So uh, for dry skin, we can use meshed avocado with little coconut and not moroccan. Sorry, it's argan oil with little of argan oil and or you can add little bit of rose hip uh, sasha for you will be better to use nourishment mask instead of uh, clay few times uh, um, in a month so you can do nourish the next week clay next week nourish then clay do not use clay mask too much often. Okay, and uh, measured avocado will be wonderful for you. Uh, next is uh, you're welcome. Next is measured banana uh, with a little jaggery. If you have no uh, jaggery in uh, in Russian called uh, uh, sukanat. So uh, if you can find this one, you can use brown sugar, uh, but uh, green did very well. Do not use with these particles. You no need of this. Uh, so, how we are going to use this? Uh, we take a little bit of this uh, meshed um, uh, mask and uh, do very gentle motions on all your face. Then apply a more uh, thick layer, not uh, thick too much but uh, when you massage you are unable to apply too much but when you finish massage you take little bit apply uh, you can cover your uh, your eyes with uh, cucumber pasta or uh, with uh, uh, small um, uh, small uh, 
cotton uh, uh, with uh, rose water and relax uh, for about 10-15 uh, minutes. Uh, combination skin, uh, we can use the matched cucumber with uh, pineapple juice. Just a few drops, it will be enough. Uh, the next one is matched apricot uh, with strawberries uh, and lemon juice. Lemon juice is actually, uh, this one you can use before sunbath. Uh, and oily skin, uh, the first one is the aloe gel, uh, uh, plus uh, orange juice, uh, plus olive oil and cornstarch. This one is uh, in between nourishment and uh, deep cleansing. So, but oily skin needs it. So use uh, this one. Uh, and uh, when you need a little bit more nourishment for your oily skin, uh, use this one, meshed papaya with uh, orange peel. The same. We apply gentle massage, then more skin, more uh, more layer, more thick, then rest about uh, 10 15 minutes. Okay, is there any question here? Then we then we just wash it up uh, and. Uh, use the toning. What is it, uh, how it looks like? Uh, it's just uh, the best toning is rose water. If you can get it, it will be wonderful and you need no, no more. It just will be enough. Just spray on your face, that's it. Uh, or you can put it uh, on cotton ball and gently apply all over your face. Uh, uh, when you do all the steps, do not forget, forget about your neck, because neck uh, want to be aged much earlier than our face. So take care about your neck, don't forget about it. Um, so recipe is raw the water, excellent for all types. Um, and uh, if you have really oily skin, with uh, white pimples, uh, uh, Tulsi will be better for you. You can uh, you can purchase Tulsi. I believe Whole Foods uh, carry it. Uh, uh, it's called the Tulsi tea, and you can purchase it online. Just made a uh, decoction from it with pinch of Tulsi and. Uh, Keep it for about, uh, I, I believe you can keep it uh, for one week, then use the fresh one. Okay, we can use the uh, other flower water like uh, jasmine water, um, sandalwood water, not from bark, but from uh, petals, uh, jasmine water, lavender water. <clears throat> uh, if you have if you have a um, problem with the acne or pimples, uh, the last recipe with the witch hazel is the best too. So we mix uh, witch hazel, flower water, uh, and uh, decoction from uh, fennel, nettle, cilantro. It will be the best option. Otherwise, rose water is the best. Okay, if, if there is no question, we are going to move the last step moisturizing right after you use free uh, rose water on your face uh, you can use uh, cream you can purchase cream of course but please check your ingredient list the one rule uh, of ayurveda is uh, if you can't swallow it do not apply it on your skin so if you can't eat it do not allow your skin to eat it Okay, check ingredient list. But this recipe is really simple. I think everyone can make it. It's so easy. And also, uh, Banyan Botanicals has a really good uh, oil uh, that will be good be for uh, face care, neck care, breast care. So you can purchase it and use it. Uh, you can uh, mix just simply little bit of uh, carrier oil like coconut oil 
uh, mix with uh, aloe gel and uh, just apply in the skin. So the recipe is uh, honey, milk in, uh, and oil in equal oil. You can use uh, any oils mentioned here. Jojoba, all skin types, key sensitive or aging skin, sesame oil for dry skin and coconut oil combination of oily skin and sensitive skin. Um, the next recipe is a little more complicated, but uh, I think it's, it's really good. Um, aloe gel uh, with uh, melted cacao butter with uh, oil mentioned here and uh, with uh, flower water. Flower water means uh, um, rose water, jasmine water, lavender water. And uh, uh, it will be more like a cream because of uh, cacao butter in it, it will be more like a cream. Uh, but uh, melt and heat, heat all ingredients before, before you want to mix it. You can add essential oils, which we are mentioned above, but do not uh, put it uh, before heat. Essential oils are always uh, added when you're done. So when you do not want to heat it more, okay? Um, the same oils, we use these oils. And uh, we, you can use just this one oil, mix it with little uh, aloe gel or little water, Mix on your hand and gently apply on your face. Uh, even oily skin have to be moisturized. Any type of skin want to be and even oily skin want to be moisturized. Do not think if my skin is oily, I no need to moisturize it. Okay. Uh, moisturizing uh, uh, will protect you from uh, sunburn, from wind, uh, and make your skin smooth and uh, glowy. Okay, any questions here? So we're done with our face care, and I feel uh, we want to go back a little bit. Um. So, we talked about uh, seven steps of weekly care, and this one includes three steps of everyday care. Please do not skip this one. It's really easy. It doesn't took much time for you. It's really simple. It's just mix a rich, little powder with little water, apply, massage, then brush your teeth, then go to the shower and uh, just uh, wash everything up. Um, this one, I understand it took more time. Yes, it will be around uh, one hour, but uh, my suggestion before you start this, prepare all ingredients for each step separately, then come to it and do step by step. It will be easier. It doesn't took much time. Okay, any question about face care because we are we want to move forward with body care. Okay, repeat. Uh, each. Okay. So, um, movement of massage. Okay, okay. Uh, so, when we wake up, we go to the shower uh, and uh, want to cleanse our face. So, we do these three steps. Cleansing with uh, green green flow. Toning with rose water spray and moisturizing with cream or oil mix it with water or aloe gel is it clear then on a weekly basis we will do cleansing with green gram then 
massage with uh, your type of oil then team to open your pores then scrub to take all impurities out then mask to take everything that goes very deep into your skin will take it out i i talk about uh, uh, clay mask then toning with just rose water spray you can just put it in your bathroom and use it in a spray bottle just spray on your face that's it and the last one moisturizing with cream or oil mixed with a little aloe gel or, or water or you can use the milk milk mix it with the oil a uh, little bit honey i hope it's clear I will send you this presentation, so you will go back to it. Uh, mustache movement. Uh, if we are talking about mustache, uh, not about uh, uh, scrub, it will be a little different. I will uh, start from mustache. Uh, when we do mustache, we do um, gentle stroke, like from forehead, gentle and down then from nose from uh, from nose to ears then we go from ears like this okay so we do little pressure to improve circulation okay again we start from forehead we can do a little motion here then to uh, when we are uh, prone to aging when we want to tone in our skin we can go deep like this so we can um, give more pressure here and a uh, little more pressure to cheek, but always go from nose to the ears and down to the neck. Neck again from the upper top to the bottom. Neck should be more gentle than face. Okay? Do not um, put much more pressure on your neck. Um, then, if we are talking about uh, uh, scrub, then we do circle motion to really improve circulation. Just everywhere, just circle, 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 even this. Okay? And neck again, circle, but more gentle. So, next will be about our body here. Yeah, sure. So, not only our face want to be beautiful and uh, glowy skin and shiny, our body want to be beautiful too. Uh, I know there, is, there can be different problems like um, uh, apple skin on your hips and uh, you don't like it uh, and you want to be out of it. You want to get rid of it. Uh, so uh, our body needs uh, a proper care. Uh, even uh, when we start aging, uh, our body needs uh, to be moist, need to be clean. Um, and uh, I don't remember when I last time used uh, shower gel. I usually used uh, only herbal powders uh, and uh, uh, bean flowers. Uh, to my uh, face and my body so uh, our body need uh, our care and if uh, we can if we have enough time I would suggest to each woman to have abhyanga every day abhyanga means oil massage every day oil massage gives us much more than just uh, body care it gives us calm the mind. It gives us relaxation. Massage, massage. 
Massage of our face, massage of our body, massage of our head. It's really important. It, uh, it's good for your uh, hair follicles. It's good for your mind. It's good for your sleep. So uh, I already mentioned that if you have not much time to full, uh, full body abhyanga, at least apply a little oil on your head, apply a little oil on your feet. Um, when you start aging, maybe after 40 years, the good uh, is to apply a little oil on your breast, okay, and massage. So, uh, there is a, I mentioned two most popular Ayurvedic oils, uh, and this one is really best. So, if you are able to purchase it and to use it, it will be wonderful. Uh, if you are not able to do this, uh, then use uh, coconut and sesame. When we are travel, I usually took uh, only coconut oil or sesame oil, depend on season. If there is a winter month, I will took sesame for sure. If there is a uh, spring and uh, summer, I will took coconut oil and uh, do whole body abhyanga and uh, head massage uh, with only this one or only this one so um, do not uh, worry that uh, your hair will be oily it will be yes it will be oily but it's really important to massage and to oleate your hair your head uh, if you have no problem with uh, your um, with split ends so you can just apply all, on all over your head. Do not apply all, all on your hair. Uh, if you have a problem with uh, split ends, uh, frizzy hair, etc., uh, you should to do uh, hair mask then. Okay. So Kissimi oil and uh, Nila Brungadi oil is two best oils. But remember, Nila Brungadi oil is not for everyone. Nila Bringadi is a um, very cooling oil, so if you're prone to congestion, uh, if you're prone to sinusitis, uh, uh, avoid this. Uh, if you're prone to burning type of headaches, uh, then it will be a perfect choice. If you wake up uh, in the middle of the night and uh, difficult to fall asleep, Nila Bringadi will be excellent. And it will prevent uh, you from grain, from hair fall, and uh, nourish uh, hair follicles. Okay, Kestini oil is actually good for all types, so everyone can use it. Uh, Kestini is uh, actually um, oil for uh, beauty of the hair. So it uh, prevents uh, and uh, treats uh, dandruff, uh, hair fall, grain, uh, etc. Okay, is there any question here about uh, oil massage, head massage? Okay, next, uh, after oleation, we can uh, cleanse our hair. Again, please read uh, ingredients of your shampoo. Do not use uh, um, harmful chemical shampoo because uh, it will uh, it will clean your hair and uh, we feel like uh, oh it's, it will be greasy if I left little oil in it but it's not. It will it will not. So no please no worry. Uh, you will be able to wash excess of oil the same as uh, on your body. So you wash. Uh, what is what is the um, what we should to do? Uh, we should to wash excess and keep what is already inside. Do not try to over dry your hair and uh, take uh, more oil than we need. So the natural will be uh, shikakai powder. Shikakai is uh, excellent uh, for hair care. Uh, it's a little of um, uh, soapy in nature, the same as the soap nut. This too is a little soapy. Uh, 
all other is uh, just powders uh, uh, but uh, if you start to do this regularly you will feel uh, different so uh, shikakai soap nut fenugreek fenugreek is better to use in paste you soak overnight and uh, then in uh, in the morning uh, use uh, like mix it with water uh, and blend uh, really well and then apply on your scalp it, it's really good recipe for the dandruff i i we will come to this amalaki uh, bringarat henna is really good for all uh, types of uh, skin and uh, hair hibiscus uh, uh, they all can be used in form of paste uh, shikakai soap nut we can boil and then use uh, as liquid shampoo because these two is soapy. Uh, yes, uh, soap nut. Um, and uh, after we finish cleansing, uh, wash, uh, rinse uh, our hair with uh, lime juice, uh, lemon juice, uh, mix it with water, or you can mix uh, vinegar with water. It will give you shiny hair. It, and it will be it will look really great uh, and uh, shiny beautiful so uh, is there any question um, also uh, chamomile is good for blonde hair uh, rosemary black tea uh, better for black uh, brown hair uh, bring garage uh, for any type of hair um, I think that's it yeah mm -hmm. so the next part is hair problems yes this recipe uh, this too it's really good if you prone to frizzy hair if uh, it's hard to you to brush your hair and it's always start to be frizzy after wind uh, etc so uh, when um, if you remember we talked about uh, massage uh, with the oil of our head um, when you have a frizzy hair you massage your head then you do this mask with meshes avocado avocado uh, and uh, coconut uh, and with the ergon oil you just apply it all over your hair and leave for about uh, 20 minutes do not apply it on your Hair roots because it's uh, uh, avocado, uh, avocado is really heavy, so apply only on here, not uh, on uh, your scalp. Okay. Um, and uh, during the day, if you prone to freeze here, during the day you can use uh, you can make a uh, hair spray uh, with uh, aloe gel, uh, water, and ergon oil. You can uh, also use um, little. Uh, Little, a few drops of lavender and uh, rose essential oil it will give you it will brush much better it will shine and uh, not uh, so easy to freeze okay is there any questions here uh, aloe gel it's not um, when i mention aloe gel i doesn't uh, say uh, like commercial you can just uh, take this uh, leaf of al aloe gel, cut and just scrub and use this one. Okay. Is there any question here? Yes, next one is uh, dandruff. Uh, before you feel you have a dandruff, please be sure it's not a psoriasis okay psoriasis uh, on the head looks really um really same as the dandruff the difference is the dandruff is all over the scalp and psoriasis is local mostly um close to your forehead but it can happen happen on uh, any part of scalp but it will be not over your scalp okay uh, dandruff will, will look like from this picture and uh, it will be all over so the best is massage with oil 
every day. No time to do massage every day and wash uh, with uh, herbal powders. Then few drops of uh, Cathinic Shirabala uh, or Mili Bringadi oil. Few drops, massage, and then keep. No, no need to wash if you just put few drops on your hair. Okay? And I already mentioned a uh, fenugreek paste, soak overnight, then uh, blend it with water and uh, apply, leave on 10-15 uh, minutes as a hair mask and then wash up. Avoid chemical shampoo for sure. No need conditioner if you have a healthy hair. Conditioner is made for when you have a problem. So. First of all, you use the uh, uh, chemical shampoo and over dry your hair, take uh, all oil from it, and then you use conditioner to uh, moisturize. What, what is the reason? Where is the logic? Maybe it's better do not uh, take everything out of it, uh, every oil. We should to keep it tight, moisturize our hair. So we don't need to use the conditioner then. Okay, and uh, uh, for dandruff, uh, uh, lime water will be the best of all rinses. Is there any question here? Okay, um, important tips um, of beauty. I already mentioned, uh, please apply on your skin only that you can eat. Skin is the largest organ. And uh, you have GIT to eat, but your skin eat everything you apply on it. Okay, please be very gentle and mindful to your skin. Uh, sun cream, sunscreen creams, of course, should be very gentle and uh, try to avoid chemicals, uh, lotions, uh, shower gels, everything. If it's hard to you to use herbal powders, then uh, check ingredient list. But I tell, I, I tell you, no problem to use powders. Keep it in your bathroom, take it, mix with water, apply, wash. The same as a shower gel, nothing, no, no difference at all. Okay, sleep in a proper time. Um, in each presentation, I always mention sleep, sleep in a proper time. It's important for your health, for your happiness and for your beauty. Why? Because when we change our sleep pattern, when we uh, go to bed uh, late, when we wake up late, when you sleep uh, daytime, uh, we develop a problem. And uh, we, we, we will feel and look uh, very tired uh, uh, so for our beauty it's uh, really important to sleep sleep in a proper time uh, the next one eat a natural wholesome meal again for our health and our beauty is really important to avoid uh, um, processed uh, carbohydrates uh, uh, refined carbohydrates uh, refined oils uh, be mindful, look uh, on our mother nature. It uh, always gives us uh, a suggestion what to eat, uh, what, when to eat. So just be mindful and uh, eat wholesome meal. Um, add uh, nuts, whole grains, berries, raisin, dates, uh, colorful fruits, oils in your diet. This one is important uh, uh, to your beauty, especially dates raising nuts and colorful fruits oil <laughs> everything <laughs> uh yes so please uh, days is really good for you uh do not cut oils oils is not good not bad for us we need oils we need oleation from inside not only from outside okay but use the natural oils and the last one is uh, keep calm Practice pranayama, meditation, mantra. You can pray to your God. You can do prayer. You can uh, do little breathing exercises before bed. You can do breathing exercises in the morning. 
it will keep you calm it uh, gives you a sweet voice and you will feel happy healthy and beautiful any questions here because we are going to finish